any candidate me starting from me hamza al mustafa of action alliance if you see me go to country a while running towards election and you refuse to ask me questions who did i go to discuss in that country what agreement did i go to sign in that country what are the names of those people who invited me then take it that i'm hypocrite i'm selling nigeria you are going to have doom rather than raising your hope in 2023 i challenge any candidate i challenge any institution i challenge any person i challenge any leader i challenge committee of nations all those who visited outside all the secret documents they sign government must should tell nigerians if the candidate is born enough is great he believe in nigeria he fear god almighty he's truly coming to be a leader and to provide leadership to nigeria should come to the fore and tell nigerians the truth on oath because there are games going on there are candidates that are thin as trash they don't have the money but they love the country there are candidates are seen as precious gold because they have the money and they are ready to play games and they don't love nigeria are we thinking is nigeria knowing where we are why should, uh, we, some of us are hated i know because i will not accept bakasi first in my career in the 80s i was among those who were sent there when the terrain was rough we lost soldiers to snakes pythons we survived we were not afraid of guns coming from cameroon soldiers and gendarmes we were more scared of pythons in that place yes it's difficult to have to spend a day and the pythons were killing soldiers it's swallowing soldiers you can't all of you sleep anyhow we look for dry leaves and plant them in that th thick bush i live there if i can talk on bakasi i need days and let me make it in a nutshell mm -hmm. what is bakasi bakasi is an island made of two portions one is called atabong east and atabong west put together you make bakasi it's a high plateau meaning from bakasi you are overseen cross rivers part of rivers and akwaibo all the oil rigs in sea once you occupy bakasi you take control of it it's a dangerous place to nigeria's maritime security in the sense that once you occupy bakasi nigeria's maritime security as a whole as a country is in danger ships cannot come so any day any of these countries who have succeeded in robbing nigeria out of it decides to sit there then your maritime security is in danger no ship comes that i tell you that aside what makes bakasi tick bakasi is one of the richest points on earth one of the richest one, points anything in the eastern plank of nigeria is exceptionally rich northeast southeast south south bakasi and some people traded it out deliberately from prison i wrote an eight page letter handwritten to one of the chiefs of security in this country and i challenge him responding to orders a presidential order is one of the limitations of a commander in chief of a country when he tells you to go and hand over part of your country even if it is an inch to someone else irrespective of where the order comes from it negates oath of commission oath of allegiance oath of office mm. these three mm. but it happened in nigeria because of interest remember when they were taking it in court people have forgotten that there was a build up before of exhibits in wall court knowing fully well that bakasi was part of nigeria from whatever angle you look at it nigerians have never come to discuss about it but then it was handed over when that was going on that was on boko haram was being formed funded nigerians were divided would the the threats and the fear and when that terror was being unleashed on nigeria they were busy handing over bakasi who did it what are the names of these nigerians involved what are the names of these companies what are the names of these foreign and seen hands that have destroyed nigeria from 1965 is there any linkage how come the intellectuals have not gone to do their homework where is the what makes nigeria's academia who are our historians 
So we sit down, anybody can decide mm. because he's on the throne. And then whatever he says, it becomes, uh, it becomes a holy book. It's a game going on. Bakasi has the, one of the largest, in fact, what is on Bakasi in terms of oil and gas alone? I don't think there's any person who can quantify. Number two, the shrimps, fish, shrimps, in is Bakasi. the best in the world. The it's shrimps a, in Bakasi. The shrimps in Bakasi, the former fishing companies of Nigeria, who used to give employment to numerous Nigerians. Today can't go there, it's a no-go area. Is the best in the world. They take it to Europe, to Americas, to far Asia. It's all from Bakasi. The fashion house in major countries who have been destroying Nigeria, they get their supplies from Bakasi. What are they? Ostrich, snakes, all the skins. The snakes you see there, you can't see them anywhere. Wrist watches, the leather, shoes, bags, whatever that adorn or that is supplying the whole fashion. Markets in the world comes from Bakasi. We have been denied. And today, you cannot practically say that you are managing Nigeria's maritime security minus Bakasi. It's a minus. But then I asked two questions since I came out from prison. You lost Bakasi. Your Navy is still in Calabar. You are not, you are not unmindful of what is called electronic warfare affecting your warships. What is the name of Nigeria? You lost Bakasi, you have not set back to redesign your national security. Who sold Bakasi? Let me tell you one of the games. There's too much, like I say, I need days to talk on Bakasi. When Bakasi was going on, when the matter was going on, a 419 was arranged. During end of the year, there was an arrangement by those who were prospecting to take it away from Nigeria. They sat down and in their evil mind created a gift. Gift of global maps. Beautifully designed, beautifully done glove. And they gave it to all Nigerian leaders in our foreign embassies. Those in here at home, ministers all over. Including those defending Nigeria. Mm. And we are using, using it as something we appreciate as, as a gift. Oh. But when you sit down and look at the map, mm. you see the international border boundary given Bakasi to Cameroon. Already. Uh, but we are using it as an authority because it's a gift. So even the gift given to us was an exhibit succeeding Bakasi mm. to Cameroon. Mm. What's our name? Nigeria. How can you be submitting exhibits as a lawyer or as international lawyers of repute and you don't even understand this? Uh-oh. -uh. Oh, our lawyers that went to defend us. That, if, if they cited... Uh, uh, no, the, 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 the other side mm -hmm. cited that. He said, mm -hmm. your acceptance and admittance mm -hmm. of the map you use yourself mm -hmm. shows that Bakasi is part of Cameroon, not Nigeria. Oh. And it's an exhibit and it happened today. The question is, by who? Another one, so that because it's too long. <laughs> what were the origins or state of origin or nationality of the justices that presided over the matter. Oh. The majority are from where? Francophone. How many from the Anglophone? One, two. Where is that list? In France. Oh. In France, 1714 or so that I talked about. One of it is that whatever is French interest, Francophone countries shall have it as their interest. They came and presided over a matter between themselves and us. They took it away. Whose fault? Did we ask? Did we challenge it? Another question is, who in Nigeria from the bar, from the bench, retired and those serving from all our institutions Represented and, our, and, and, and our allies from the inter from law perspective that ask questions? Where is that judgment? What was the history of the proceedings? What was the history of the lodgement of exhibits? How many years did it take before 1999? By the year 2000, how many governments in the past filed exhibits? I, Mustafa, am aware of 19 professors of history that 19 prof who were consultants to Nigeria in the 90s where exhibits were brought from all countries that colonized Cameroon. Numerous countries colonized Cameroon. All those countries produced documents. They were tendered, showing clearly the indigenous ethics, the activities in history from Bakasi, um, from Calabar, most of them from royal family. Some of them up to Okwaibu. 
but today is lost and it is just like nothing these are nigerians these are our brothers and sisters if god almighty had wished i would have been from bakasi then i wouldn't have mouth to talk mm -mm. but god created me a nigerian but the remaining nigerians have neglected me because there are one two big men in nigeria mm -mm. who decided to say some nigerians are nothing but slaves or animals and we take it as such what makes us elite how can i accept to be a leader if i know there is a part of nigeria no matter how small and people are subjected as slaves and i go to sleep that is the worst the height of hypocrisy and it's unacceptable if they did it to our people yesterday this is nigeria no longer whatever affect any nigerian from any part of nigeria if you are a leader worth being called one it has touched your flesh you fight it you defend it you protect it and if you have preventive measures you prevent it